In the heart of the Rocky Mountains, nestled between towering peaks and dense pine forests, lay the small town of Silver Pine. Known for its serene beauty and peaceful ambiance, Silver Pine was a haven for those seeking solitude. But beneath the tranquility, a sinister secret lurked. The first incident occurred on a cold, moonlit night. The town's beloved baker, Mrs. Gallagher, was found lifeless in her home, a look of terror forever etched on her face. The authorities were baffled. There were no signs of forced entry, no motive, nothing stolen. The only clue was a strange symbol, drawn in flower on her kitchen floor. News of Mrs. Gallagher's death sent shockwaves through Silver Pine. Doors were bolted, children were kept indoors, and whispers of a curse circulated. But as weeks turned into months with no further incidents, life slowly returned to normal. Until one foggy morning, when the town's blacksmith, a burly man named John, was found in a similar state. Again, the same eerie symbol was found, this time etched into the dirt outside his forge. Panic gripped Silver Pine once more. The town was no longer a haven, but a hunting ground for a serial killer. As fear spread, so did speculation. Some believed it was the work of a vengeful spirit, others suspected a deranged outsider. But the truth was far more terrifying. The killer was one of their own, hiding in plain sight, their true nature concealed beneath a facade of normality. The hunt for the Silver Pine serial killer had begun. The town's sheriff, a grizzled veteran named Hank, took it upon himself to solve the mystery. He began by investigating the strange symbol found at the crime scenes. It was an ancient rune used by the indigenous people who once inhabited the mountains. The rune stood for death, a chilling revelation that sent shivers down Hank's spine. Meanwhile, the townsfolk were growing increasingly paranoid. Accusations flew, friendships crumbled, and Silver Pine was on the brink of chaos. Amidst the turmoil, a young woman named Lily stood out. She was a newcomer, having arrived in Silver Pine just before the murders began. Lily was quiet, kept to herself, and had an uncanny knowledge of herbs and ancient lore. The townsfolk were suspicious, but Lily had an alibi for every incident. One night, as a storm raged outside, another murder occurred. This time, it was the town's doctor, found lifeless in his clinic with the dreaded symbol drawn in blood. The town was in an uproar, and Lily was the prime suspect. But when Hank went to arrest her, she was nowhere to be found. Hank and his deputies searched the town, the surrounding woods, but Lily had vanished. As the storm cleared, a chilling realization dawned upon them. The killer was still at large, and no one in Silver Pine was safe. The Silver Pine serial killer remained a mystery, a phantom lurking in the shadows. The once peaceful town was now a place of fear and suspicion, its tranquility shattered by the horrifying events. As the sun set behind the mountains, Silver Pine braced itself for another long, terrifying night. In the days that followed, Silver Pine was gripped by an eerie silence. The townsfolk were on edge, their eyes darting at every shadow, their hearts pounding at every sound. The once bustling town square was now deserted, the laughter and chatter replaced by a chilling quiet. Hank, driven by a sense of duty and justice, continued his relentless pursuit of the killer. He pored over ancient texts, consulted with historians, and even sought the counsel of a local shaman. The symbol, he discovered, was not just a sign of death, but a mark of a powerful curse, one that could only be broken by confronting the curse bearer. Meanwhile, in the heart of the forest, Lily was in hiding. She was not the killer, but she knew who was. It was her own brother, a man twisted by jealousy and rage. He had discovered the ancient rune and used it to exact revenge on those he believed had wronged him. Lily had tried to stop him, but he was too powerful, too consumed by his dark desires. One night under the light of the full moon, Lily made a decision. She would confront her brother, break the curse, and save Silver Pine. Armed with her knowledge of ancient lore and a courage born of desperation, she ventured into the heart of the forest. In the depths of the forest, she found her brother, his eyes glowing with a sinister light. A fierce battle ensued, a clash of ancient magic and sibling rivalry. But Lily was determined. She fought bravely, 
her love for Silver Pine and its people giving her strength. Finally, as dawn broke, Lily managed to overpower her brother. She broke the curse, freeing Silver Pine from its reign of terror. Exhausted but victorious, she returned to the town, her heart heavy with the weight of her actions. Silver Pine was safe once more. The serial killer was no more, the curse was broken, and peace was restored. But the town would never forget the horror it had endured, the fear it had felt, or the brave woman who had saved them from the darkness. And so, the tale of the Silver Pine serial killer came to an end, a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the most unexpected places.